Okay, welcome back. My name is Buck Cash, and we're going to continue with this Photoshop lesson that really is about the overlay blend mode, and I think you're going to find it pretty interesting. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to create a new layer, and whatever layer you're on, you can see it's highlighted in blue here. Whatever layer you're on, when you create a new layer, it's going to create it just above the layer you're on. Now, you can dr pull those around wherever you want, but I'm going to click on the this background layer that I've been working on, I'm going to go down here to this icon, click it, and it creates a new blank layer. There's nothing in this layer. If I turn these layers off, you can see there's nothing. There's a checkerboard pattern that indicates that it's transparent. Okay, So it's showing me the layer underneath it. Well, that's all fine and good. What we're going to do now is we're going to take this layer and we're going to tell Photoshop to use a blending mode with this drop down dialog box of overlay and each one of these blending modes we're going to get into more of these in sub subsequent tips and tricks videos that I'll make this one we're going to go with overlay okay and what we're going to find here is uh, a really interesting enhancement method technique that you can use using this overlay blend mode All right so now I've got my brush here I've got my uh, my color palettes set to black and white uh, and uh, you can switch those by pressing the X key on your keyboard and it will switch the background and foreground layers between at, between black and white alright so I'm gonna switch it to white and uh, I'm going to um, paint white onto the overlay blend layer and we'll see what it does now my opacity for this brush is 100 percent we're going to change that in a minute, but I want to show you what it does in a radical way. So here we go. Paint across there. 100%. And you can see that it brings the detail out in that shadowy area right there. Okay? Pretty dramatic. Now if we look at just the overlay blend mode, all we've got there is a white patch. That's all that's there. Okay? But what we're really seeing is the, is the layer underneath and the overlay blend mode is blending that white with the photo underneath and that's what we get all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back step here before that blend change what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the opacity of my brush to 20 percent and I'm gonna press the two zero to get 20 percent precisely and now at 100 percent that looked pretty good and I would probably use that and as a matter of fact, I'm going to use that for this grass area. But now these trees here, I wouldn't want to use 100%. Uh, there's some other areas here that I want to enhance, but I don't want to enhance them that drastically. And so I'm going to use use 20% because it gives me a lot more control. Now the first thing I'm going to do is 20% uh, to get to 100% and in 20% intervals means i got to hit it five times. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit this grass five times. I'm going to sweep across it once twice, three, four, and five. And now I'm right back to where I was with the 100%. And uh, another thing that I'm going to do here is uh, I showed in, an earlier, uh, in the earlier video that the bracket keys, the left bracket key makes the um, makes the brush size smaller, the right bracket key makes it larger. Now if I hold the shift and left bracket it makes the uh, brush size softer, it feathers it, and if I make it to the right, if I hold shift right bracket key it hardens the edge of that brush. Now I want it to be nice and soft because I want it to blend into the into the various backgrounds. I don't want a hard transition there because it'll be too obvious. Okay, so now I'm um, still at 20%. I have a nice soft brush, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna enhance these tree areas just a little bit. And uh, so I've got two, three, four, five there. I've I've enhanced that 100%, but I've only enhanced this 20%. Now I got a little area in here. I want to just enhance this a little bit, and maybe this a little bit more. And it may be difficult to see these changes on the small video. I'm not really sure. We'll, we'll just have to feel our way through. Okay, I'm going to enhance this a little bit. Okay, good. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to switch to black. I'm going to hit the X key 
and now I've switched my foreground color to black. I'm going to increase my brush size a bit, and I'm going to work on this sky. All right, because now I want to bring out the details in the lighter areas of the photo, and that means that I want to bring those details back in the sky portion. I'm going to make this more dramatic. My thing is, uh, I like to to go very dramatic with my photos. Okay, in my editing. So here we go. I'm going to start right over here, and I'm going to start enhancing at 20% in the overlay blend mode. And I'm just going to hit these areas that are that interest me on that. Now, as I keep the uh, left mouse, mouse button pressed, right? I'm passing over the same area over and over and over. It doesn't matter. It's not going to get more than 20% uh, of the paint on there, all right? Until I let go and then start again. And now I'm going to pass through and I'm going to give it another 20%. So now I'm at 40%. And you can see that this blue area up here in the sky on the right hand side of the photo is getting very dramatic. And I think I've gone as far as I want to go with that blue sky, but I still want to I want to hit those clouds just a little bit harder. So I'm going to decrease the size of my brush, and I'm just going to work the clouds now a little bit around the tree, over into this area. And I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. I'm going to get these a little bit more. And you can see I'm working the size of the brush. It's very easy to do when you've got your left hand working that bracket, those two bracket keys, right? I got finger on each one and I can just move you know my my uh, brush size larger or smaller at will pretty easily and that works out pretty well for me so there we go now I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing here that's very dramatic I'm gonna just punch that up just a little bit more yeah okay I'm liking that quite a bit now I'm gonna move in here and the side of this building this the, the building itself not on this building and what I want to do is I want to get into uh, some of this uh, detail here. I'm going to enhance. I want to enhance this just a little bit. I want to bring out the brights a little bit. So I'm going to switch back to white. I'm going to get my brush. And I'm going to make it small enough to work inside this area right in here. right? And I'm going to start painting white into this building right here. Into the side of the building so that I can bring out some of that brighter detail into my overall composition of this building. I think it's going to I think it's going to help, maybe it's not, but you know, a lot of this is just to your own taste, you know, what turns you on, you just go ahead and do it and and uh, and run with that. Okay, so now here I'm going to I'm going to zoom in here this porch, these two posts and this and this uh, piece of detail up here. I want to also enhance those. I'm going to show you another little trick here. I'm going to make the uh, brush size a bit smaller so that it just covers that. And now here's an interesting trick. I'm going to click once. Instead of holding it down, I'm going to click once. I'm going to move my mouse over here. I'm going to hold the shift key, click again, and it paints a straight line between those two points, which is a pretty good trick. You can use that in a lot of different ways. Whenever you're painting, uh, using the eraser tool, anything like that. Okay, so now here, I'm going to do it again from here. Hold the shift key, click again, and there's that. And then I'm going to move over to here, click once, hold the shift key, and click again, get another straight line. And I'm going to go back and hit that a couple times and enhance that, and then and do this a little bit one more time I think right down there and I'm gonna be pretty happy with that and I'm gonna zoom back out fit this to screen and now when I turn off the uh, overlay blend layer we'll see the before and the after so there's the before that's before any of this uh, overlay blend enhancement I turn it back on and you can see the difference very dramatic very punchy Plenty of detail now in the grass area that we that we lost earlier. Plenty of detail up in the sky, in the clouds. We've got all that detail back. And uh, it, to my eye, this is just beautiful. Okay, so there it is. There's your overlay blend mode enhancement layer. Have fun with that, and I'll see you in another video.